Alright, how you doing all my friends out there, YouTube fans? Listen, today what we're doing is smoked salmon. This is 2015 August. We're smoking salmon. The rivers are running with our salmon here in Seattle. And here's what we got going on. I've, if you turn around and look at the table over there, this is a portion of probably 17 salmon I'm going to smoke. And I've already... Uh, I've already filleted all the fish, got rid of the heads, got rid of the tails. Um, I brined it. My brine is a per gallon of water. Uh, one and a quarter. I do want to give a shout out to my friend Joe at Southern Coastal Cooking. He'll never see this, but I watch him all the time. And JB with Louisiana Cajun Recipes. Those guys are real good if you're looking for Cajun recipes, looking for barbecue. He's got the Yoder 640, Joe does. And uh, JB, he's got his personal spices he likes to sell. But you can find him on YouTube and their YouTube channels. Don't forget to sub their videos and... Uh, like their videos and sub their channel. A quarter cup of sugar, one and a quarter cup of salt, some teriyaki sauce, some Worcestershire sauce, some soy sauce, garlic powder also. Yeah, buddy, so that's what you do. You uh, definitely clean it up. You're going to use some bleach and bleach your sink out. Uh, this is what we got now. See, it's, I got my habanero, ground habanero peppers dried. And in general, I got a pretty big smoker I built. We're going to see that soon enough. And all I do is sh uh, shake on my habanero pepper. And there you go. I'm a little tired from work today. It's, you know, almost dinner time. So this is going to sit for a while with the fan on it. It's got to get a nice, uh, I don't know the word. It almost sounds French to me. But, uh, Pretty soon, in a few hours, with that fan on it, it's going to dry that top skin over so it doesn't crack and go ugly. It's going to go out into the smoker once I get that after dinner. So we're going to break right now and get back to you when it's time to go into the smoker. And at least once I got it set up. Okay, friends? Okay, before we went to that break, uh, what I'm doing right now, after 12, uh, excuse me, 24 hours of brining this fish and I brine it once if you've got it in the bucket like this it's got to be in the refrigerator it's got to be cold while you brine it so it's been 24 hours in the brine uh, now what you do is we're taking these pieces out of here we got a colander you got to rinse the brine crud and any junk off so we just rinse basically rinse throw it in the colander and then we go ahead and lay it on the table and shortly what we're going to do is be putting my habanero pepper on the, uh, the fish. And that'll be the next step. Yeah, buddy, this ain't JB and this ain't Southern Coastal Cooking. This is Pacific Northwest smoked salmon. Alaska Native style. Okay, here's what we got going. Got my fans on. Use any kind of fan you want. Can't kick it, man, and don't get your hands stuck in that because I ain't got no shroud. And it's just going to blow on this bad boy and get that see, there's air everywhere, see? And it's going to get that to firm up, tighten up, and glass over. And once it's tightened up, almost sticky dry and firm, then it's going to go out into the smoker. Next thing we're going to go out and we're going to get the smoker out and get it all set up. You're going to trip on this uh, system I got. I got this uh, cold smoker I built. Y'all can do it too. And uh, what we're calling this is uh, Alaskan smoked salmon done right here in Seattle. Jack? You know, I don't do a lot of cooking, but uh, any of you want to uh, sub my channel, like my videos, that'd be great. Get my daughter Melanie over here. She's cooking dinner tonight because I'm burned out on this. Last night I had like 18 fish I had to fillet out and cut them all up. And you can see, you already seen it's over on the table. But it's a long process. This comes down in August. Uh, the rivers down here in Seattle, Puyallup River is running strong with uh, pink salmon. Pretty soon Duwamish 
in the Muckleshoot Indians, which are my great friends, they're going to be getting uh, kings. I don't know about kings, but they get those co uh, coho silver salmon. They come in. But this is a great time of year. We just love our uh, native ways here in this house. We we had a native sometime in the generations back come into our family, and that's why we're so dark skinned. Aside from our light skinned European uh, mom and Melanie. Um, you know, it's going to be a pretty good day once we get this, but you're going to trip on some of this. Cold Smoker's Mine is, is ingenious. I came up with the idea from my family who was back in Romania. My wife's family actually also came in up with my uh, 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 my heating area, heating element, and how it connects to my cold smoker. And then, seriously, when it comes to finishing it out, since it doesn't heat and dry like your little chief, big chief, we got the Ronco dehydrators. You know, you can dehydrate all kinds of stuff, man. Dude, it works great on smoked salmon. As long as you get the right kind of pieces, cut it just right. Uh, I got three of them. They stack seven high, step seven layers high. And you'll be seeing that up and coming here in the video. You know what, while we're waiting for the kitchen to get cleaned up and have to have dinner, let's have another look at that fish there. That's a lot of fish. We got Melanie making chicken tenders, doing the standard fish, flour, egg wash. Fish, flour, egg wash. And uh, breadcrumbs, standard breadcrumbs from uh, Poseidon Adventure. And we got Melanie cooking dinner tonight. Mom's. Yapping it up. Yep, she's sleeping. You know, we probably do more stuff. We're not, I'm not all that an interesting person, but uh, and we can't uh, do all that much cooking. It'd be a whole lot of fun, like Joe from Southern Global Cooking and JB Louisiana Cajun Recipes. Mom had brain surgery a year ago, so we're still feeling the pinch of the budget. But we do what we can. Our Christmas is always fun. We do a good Christmas. Every two years we do the smoked salmon. And, uh, I don't know whatever the hell else we do. Oh, yum. Thought I'd roll over and check things out because I started dragging the stuff out. This ain't been out for two years. There's my home-built cold smoker. It ain't a hot smoker. It's a cold smoker. We'll talk about it for a second here. I'm going to get it up on the table when the Melanie's done. But what we got here is exterior plywood. I got bars. Three levels. Got your exit hole of this. Look what we got inside this bad boy. See? You got three levels of onion racks with your screen on it. We're gonna, That'll hold the fish real good. And this is my heat box. I'm going to be... Sorry about that. I'm going to be down in there. I put my hot plate with my chunk alderwood. Now here's the alderwood stacked up for the year. That's the alderwood. That's for my cooking. But anyways, you can see the cobwebs and stuff been on there. Once it smokes up and gets going, it's going to be banging. We're going to see that not too long from out. I also got a sausage smoker. It's stacked up under the under that. I can hang sausage, cold smoke them sausages, and make me some cold boss. Won't be too long. One of these days, I'm going to get it out and show you what I brought back from. Uh, my wife's family in Hungary got that Hungarian coal boss dude is freaking amazing uh, So let's get back to it here in just a minute All right friends here we go Here's what we got Let's keep this closed. We don't want no flies coming in the house Even though we ain't got much of a problem up here in the 206 you got your Proctor Silax hot plate and this pump going to be going in my heat chamber. Now I just got to find my, my pan. I ain't seen my pan. Jesus, don't tell me I lost my pan. Dude, I can't believe it. A lot. I know where my pan is. I got this thing over here. And man, the yard is trash. We went to Romania. I've lost a month and a half by being gone. Let's see what I got here. Let's see what I got under this. Crawled up in here this year. Damn. Look at them things. They're trying to kill me. Look at them. 
crazy ass spiders. These are always trying to kill me. They're trying to bite me and kill me and tear me up and stuff. And I got that uh, Smoky Mountain Series Great Outdoors Gas Fired Cooker Smoker. Somebody gave it to me. I don't like it. I'm going to open the door. There might be a rat or something pop out. Nothing. I can smoke some chickens and things in here. I don't use it. But there's my pan. This is my pan. You, ga you can gas something up real good. I ain't into that. I'm a cold smoker here. I got my chunks. This is gonna go in here. We're gonna we're gonna heat that up. We get our cold smoke over on this side. Lights in there, getting all the spiders out. I got all kind of stupid stuff around this backyard. Just getting too old to handle it all. I even got me my gas gas barbecue. I get me my Weber. Uh, uh, Dumb stupid. I ain't going to be stuck on stupid, I'll tell you that. That's what JB says. You're stuck on stupid. Well, listen, got to go in and get ready for dinner. I'm going to bail on you. Somewhere around two hours or so, I think that fish ought to be ready to bring out and get pack it in. And if I wait long enough, the hornets, they love this fish and they just attack try to get to that fish and and they're going off on me so I get back to you you know what I'm saying hey YouTube fans so we've already got it going now I'm gonna quickly open this up and let you see I got my light look at that we are rolling smoke we smoke heavy we smoke fast and we have a ton of fish in there I mean I got as you can see, we got the three things with fish. And, and you know, there's no harm in smoking it heavy and fast. This isn't a slow and low and slow. And there's no heat, so it just smokes out. We got our, got my hot plate boiling down in there. And it's just going to go for hours now. I mean, come on now. This is cold smoked salmon. You gotta have to go up to Alaska, find a native, and you're gonna be getting this sort of thing. That's how I like to do it. <laughs> this is Pacific Northwest smoked salmon hijacked out of Kodiak, Alaska. You know what I'm saying? No heat, cold smoked. When it comes time, Tomorrow it's going to go into the <laughs> Ronco dehydrator. You think that guy's stupid? He's a whiz, man. You wait till you see it. So now I'm just sitting back here in my lazy boy chair. I'm just going to sit here. I can look right out the door. See my smoker going. Cold smoking my fish. Keep my eye on it. I keep throwing, keep throwing in little chunks. My alder wood, boom, boom, throwing it in, and I suppose it's what eight o'clock, eight o'clock. So we're gonna at least do four hours of this. Uh, might be one o'clock when I get to bed. Gonna be a hard day at work tomorrow, but it's well worth the effort. Okay, YouTube fans, next scene is gonna be probably throwing some wood on here after it gets dark. Cold smoked salmon, dehydrated, and this stuff is like Men in Black, Agent K, that's banging. Gotta get off my rear. Been almost an hour, I just thrown in some more chunks. You can see it's getting dark out. We're smoking salmon. Did he kill you? Forget about it, man. You know, I'm. I love my machine I built. Went to a sheet metal place, had them build me that just to fit a just to fit a dryer hose and a, a hot plate. 
I'm gonna go get cleaned up. I smell like a barbecue pit. We'll be checked back in another hour. It's 11 o'clock. My YouTube friends, I already had my shower. Now I'm already stinking like the barbecue again. We've been smoking for three hours. It's still going out there. That's right. It's still cooking. Still cooking out there. The house is all full of smoke. But you got to remember, though, they very any heat that's going to cook that fish. It's just that cold smoke. So I'm going to check back. I just threw four more chunks of wood in the in the pan on the hot plate. I'm going to get back here to fading out. And another hour. Throw some more blocks on. Got to probably two more hours of smoke before we're done. Then tomorrow we'll get the the Ronco dehydrators out and we'll put that stuff away, man. And it takes about three days for that dehydrator to get that stuff just right, Jack. Oh, yum. Y'all, we made it through the night in our smoke. This is how it comes out. Look here. It's got its brown smoke on it. Already cleared, too. We're in the house. Just showing you where the next step is. And I'll empty this and go inside. Okay, friends, YouTube friends, this is it. I got three Ronco dehydrators. These two are stacked five high. That one's six high. I use me a power bar. And what we do is, when this is drying, we're going to turn. We 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 rotate the fish trays. Then, not only do we spin them every half turn, top one goes to the bottom, and we just ro rotate them, you know. Same, same with all of this. And here we got, this is where I, I got, this one's full of the belly. This one's belly and tail. See that? And most of this, this whole one is the upper backs. So, we're going to monitor this. As the, each day goes on, there won't be a lot going on except a lot of moisture coming out of this the next 24 hours. And uh, we'll start pulling it out little by little, little by little. And I end up vacuuming and sealing mine. My deal with my friends are uh, they bring me the fish. They get half the fish back smoked. I keep half. Pretty good deal. Uh, it's a lot of labor, as you've kind of noticed. But I surely enjoy doing smoked salmon every two years. Don't forget about the brine for per gallon of water, one cup brown sugar, one cup salt. I don't use iodized salt, I use kosher salt. I do a little garlic, do a little um, Worcestershire for my Cajun folk, and a little bit of uh, soy sauce, teriyaki sauce in my brine. And that's per gallon of water. I usually do a gallon and a half of water so you can make your adjustments. Let's watch as we go through this drying process and then get to the eating. All right, brothers. How's it going, y'all? So the smoked salmon now has been in, oh gosh, it's been probably, uh, let's see what time it is, 6 o'clock. It's been in... Oh, probably six hours in the smoker. Ah, sorry about that dehydrator. I'm going to check it out and see what we got. Now, you know, they're starting to change color. Starting to get a little deeper color in them. Bellies are already starting to dry out. Look, look at this one right here. We're going to check this one out. We got one nearly done. Let's get it under some light here. This is how I like it. I, mean, I like it gooey, nasty. It ain't jerky, but it is good. So I'm just going to set this one right on top of there, put the top back on. Look at here. What's it? Dude, we got another one that's going to be coming out. See, this this little one over here. That's going to be coming out. We got little ones, little tiny pieces. All right. Ronco dehydrators. Triple Z, triple D. And this ain't diners, drive-ins, and dives. This ain't see us. Southern Coastal Cooking. And this ain't JB Louisiana Cajun Recipes. 
We are Seattle Warners. Coming in for a landing here. Here's the first five pieces. Now, you may not, you might think that that looks dark or funked out. But that's absolutely perfect for the way we do it here in our home. It ain't jerky. It ain't gooey yuppie. It's right there in the middle. So you, you push on it. If it's uh, like medium meat, where it's not real soft, then you're done. We'll be looking at more as it comes out. You know, this is probably seven hours. The first tiny pieces I done are out. Oh, yeah. Since we're smoking and grilling today, I thought I'd just throw this little quick one in. Got my gas grill going. We've got Johnsonville. Johnsonville Firecracker brand brats. These are uncooked, so we put them on the upper rack. Got it going on. I got a little piece of wood on there. Get some smoke on that. And that's our Johnson beer. Johnsonville brats, boy. Oh, yeah, buddy. How's it going, y'all? This is Kyle with Seattle Warners. Our summer, fall uh, smoked salmon ritual every two years. Uh, I've already taken a good portion of the stuff down to the guys who did all the fishing for me. Here's a little taste of what they got. Get it under the light. You really can't see the beautiful red actually how it is. If you look at it, it's, it's, it's pretty firm. But it's not jerky. Far from being jerky. That's just how I do it. The, excuse me, Melanie. Uh, over here is just all kind of stuff going on. Uh, you know, just layer after layer of nice smoke. This, this Ronco dehydrator is absolutely amazing. The guy who invented it is, uh, you know, he's a whiz. Whatever his name is. Um, let's see what we do with my final product. So I've got my food saver vacuum sealer here. I've made a few bags and a clear side. So right now I'm working with the tails. And uh, you'll see how I work this. I alternate the, sh the shape since they're like a little triangle. Wide edge to shallow edge. Wide edge to shallow edge. And we'll make this just a five piece here. I like to try to even it out. Don't like the stuff touching each other. My little coffee box gets it up in line. And these things are incredible to have. I mean, I've used this for so many different things. My vacuum seal food seal. Here we go. Sucking the air out. Go ahead. Look at that. That's tremendous. All right, let's take a look at this. <laughs> what do you think about that? I don't know if the natives do this, but since I do so much, I need it to last me a year, and I don't freeze it. Freezing it screws the whole thing up, so I'll just keep this in the cold refrigerator, about 38 degrees. I'm going to run through all of these. All of these. Look at here. I even got one piece I wasn't too happy with. It needs a little bit more dry. Then we go the distance. So we can come back when I've got it all packaged and we'll count the packages. Well, I've got everything vacuum sealed. The last picture will be of all my packages in the, in the refrigerator chilling out because once you vacuum seal them, it can pull all the oil out of them with that vacuum inside the bag. So. What I'm going to do, since I've already tried it but not on camera, this is a nice little piece of the belly. This is where the backbone was along here, belly, tail, head. I'm going to take a little piece of this off. This has the most oil in it, good oil, heart oil. Man. <laughs> Man. Now think back to the start of this video. From 
when I I would didn't even you didn't even see me filleting them how insane that was. It'll be eighteen salmon. First bite's always the spiciest with that almonero pepper. Pepper. But all the way back to that beginning, to this crazy little thing called the salmon. I, I tell you, there's nothing like it. After the video is over, I'll post a picture at the end of this video of all the packages that I did out of these ones. I found out today the guys are fishing the other local river for silver salmon, so those are coming for me. I got two more out in the refrigerator ready to fill A up tomorrow, get them ready to start soaking on Monday. Wow, that is spicy. That is good. Now, if you like my video, sub my channel, that'd be great. Look back because I like to use a lot of this, not just eating raw like this, but in my smoked salmon dip. I did a video a number of months ago. Watch that. We run it through with cream cheese and mayonnaise. It's the most incredible stuff because you don't have this yuppie gooey fish. Watch that video. Like that video, but definitely tell your friends about this Seattle Warners. Don't do a whole lot. I got a couple of little fun things we like to do. Watch our Christmas shows. We do a lot of good food at Christmas time. And I'll tell you, it was really good. Again, also go out there on YouTube cooking channels. Look for Southern Coastal Cooking. Joe, he's a really funny guy. And uh, JB, Louisiana Cajun Recipes. I just love watching those guys. If I want to cook like a Cajun, JB is going to show us how to do it. And serious barbecue from Southern Coastal Cooking. All right. Thanks for watching my video. Had a good time with y'all. Hopefully uh, you can attempt maybe something like this. Build yourself a cold smoker. Have yourself built a little, whew, that's hot, uh, a hot plate box so you can run a dryer hose like I did. And uh, go out there and have some fun. Get your friends to get you some salmon. Otherwise, check back for other videos. We don't do them too often, but I do like to do it. Thanks again, everyone. Thanks for tuning in and watching our videos. I did forget one thing. I do have to give credit to a man who probably would never see any of this. His name was Jim Fitzpatrick. He was one of the tenants. I managed some apartment buildings. He was one of my tenants. He was a prospector. He'd go up to Alaska, a prospect for gold. Uh, he would also uh, sustenance fish salmon. He was real tight with the natives up in Alaska. and. He showed me this recipe. Uh, they don't particularly do it this way, but I'm always like to put out there. It's all because of Jim Fitzpatrick and his little uh, routine of stuff. And it just uh, you know, I, I I take this wherever I go. People just rave over it. I don't get the credit except for this labor. But Jim Fitzpatrick, if you ever see a video like this, I never forgot you. Thanks again, everyone. Well, this is one heck of a dirty mess stacked up all my racks. A couple of dead soldiers here. Now, here we go with the packages laid out for you. Most beautiful smoked salmon you've ever seen. Alaskan style done right here in Seattle. Thanks for watching.